today at Dave's Killer Bread with Dave Dahl himself. How are you doing, Dave? All right, well, he's gonna show us around. We're gonna go into the bakery. We're gonna hear about his past. And what else are you gonna tell us? Okay, a little camera shy. From bad seed to good seed, we're gonna go take a tour. Let's go. Dave, we're here in your test kitchen. What do we, what do you guys do in here? This is where we do test new products occasionally. Now, more than anything, we test to maintain quality. And then we're really excited about that because it means a lot of testing that I don't have to do, but it keeps me, uh, keeps my bread perfect. Are you a killer? You know, um, I, I've killed mice and bugs, but other than that, no, no, nothing else. Okay, so not a killer, but you did do some time. Uh, you know, I, I did time for everything from burglary to drug dealing to armed robbery um, and assault. But uh, usually I was the one that got hurt, not somebody else. So it's really uh, uh, 15 years for various things that were all drug related. Bad choices, 15 years of prison, and now today you are a successful businessman making the best bread in Portland. How did you get there? How did you get from A to B? Um, you know, I, my dad was a baker, so I, I had it in my blood in a way, you know, and my family kept uh, the business going all those years that I was screwing up. And um, I, while I was in, in prison this last time, I, I saw my way to getting some medication for depression and uh, eventually um, <clears throat> got some schooling to in prison for drafting. And I took the drafting principles and other computer things that I learned and I just applied it to making bread and, and being a businessman when I got out this time. Okay, Dave, we're in the warehouse and we're gonna go out and watch your amazing bread be made. So let's do that. Let's do it. All right, I'm excited. Um, but you don't need to wear that unless you get shaved today. Oh, well, I guess I shaved last night, so. Okay, that's close enough. So I can take yeah, it off? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Looks All right, good. okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so what are the main ingredients in bread? Starts with, with wheat okay. in various forms, flour, grains, you know, different particle sizes. Uh, in my bread, it's cracked wheat, sprouted wheat, whole wheat flour. This one is, is doing a soaker. A soaker is the first stage of Dave's Killer Bread. It's like hot cereal. Oatmeal. Oatmeal, but it's, it's cracked wheat instead. Have you ever had cracked wheat cereal for uh, breakfast? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, why? <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, okay, yeah, I have it every morning. Mm -hmm. It's really good. <laughs> oh, you do, huh? Uh-huh. This is the power seed uh, mix that goes inside the power seed bread and outside the power seed bread. So, like, it's got more seeds and more stuff in it than any other bread you're gonna find. What, how many seeds are in there? Different types uh, of seeds? 47,000 per loaf. 47,000 seeds. Yeah, I count, I, count each, I count each loaf. That's quality control yeah. right there. <laughs> I have no, no wonder idea. you never get a day off. I have no idea, but there's a lot. As much <laughs> as I can put in there without making it turn into a brick. Right now, he's creating a sponge. Okay. He's, taking this, he's taking the soaker <laughs> ingredients, he's adding yeast, uh, he's adding these seeds and things. This is 21 whole grains. It's got, this is 21 grains right here of stuff that's going in. That'll go inside and it'll go outside the loaf. How much, do you know how much this bowl will essentially make? How many nope. loaves? We're gonna make a 250 at a time. That's, wow. the, that's the perfect size for us to continually just keep kicking them out. Well, if I borrow one of these bowls, can I just maybe pump out 250 loaves of bread at my house? You, you, you know what? No, I don't think so. Again, yeah. <laughs> what was your first recipe? My first actual Dave's Killer Bread recipe was blues bread and you know, I started out when I first got out of prison, I didn't know what I was doing. Through getting up, falling down again, I, I learned a lot. And I finally was able to, um, you know, once I figured out how to make bread, it was just like, what do I like in bread? What is gonna make kick-ass bread? Okay, so you're not, you're not a killer, but where's the name come from? It's, it's not a literal word at all. It's, it's vernacular, killer, good, and uh, some people think that means that I'm a killer because I'm an ex-con, but it's just not that, not, not that way. Killer just describes the bread. I mean, originally it was gonna be called Dave's Bread. It was, it's kind of 
kind of lame, right? You know, I made one variety of bread called Blues Bread, and then the second one I made I called Killer Bread. You know, it's the kind of guy I am. I just like that kind of stuff. I like being a little edgy like that. And, uh, but that name ended up sticking to all my bread. And then somehow Dave's Killer Bread just started rolling off the tongue. Marketing people told us don't do it, you know, don't do it. You're gonna, people aren't gonna, you know, they, they said no, don't do it. We moved on and did our own marketing and it worked. And we just we followed our heart and it worked. Whoa! Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. I think you're all right. How's it going there, Big Tom? So far, so good. This is, uh, this is the very, a very um, critical point in bread making. You can mess it all up right here. Huh, huh Tom? When was the last time you messed up a batch of bread? Uh, I haven't heard of one. Yeah, that's so... what I'm talking about. Can you tell me what I'm looking for? Uh, just a nice thin window pane. It's basically you gotta kind of work it out. Do you look for this? Exactly. Oh, okay. Perfect. So what we want is like a single layer that you can kind of, if you put your finger up to it, you can see your fingerprint and it tears straight up and down. Way it goes. That is the big mass of power seed dough, 250 loaves, getting ready to get divided into little pieces. So it's coming down through this machine and it's cutting it into the perfect size. Yeah, we hope it's perfect. Um, it's, yeah, very close. Slight right. variation. And then it goes into this roller coaster. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a ride for the bread. Um, so totally. the bread gets to have fun too. Yeah, it does. So the bread goes through the proofing system and it comes down. And you said this technology is so old. It's so old and yet it's, it's still, there's nothing better for making, uh, rolling up bread. It's just a chain, it's like chain, chain mail. And um, this flat piece catches and just rolls right under there. It's really cool. It's amazing. Yeah. When I walk through the factory, everyone is so friendly and they just love you and hey Dave and you know everyone's name and you're so connected with your staff. Is there a common bond between your staff or some of your staff members and yourself? Well some of them I knew before you know I've known them when they were screw-ups like I was. It's so great to see the people turn it around and I mean I'm so excited every time every one of them to me is like two people because you lost that bad guy and you gained a good one and I, I love that. Then the bread comes down, gets a bath, and then you're rolling it here in all these great Yeah, seeds. lots of seeds. This is, in this case, it's all seeds. It's topping. It's power seeds. And then from this, from the pans, where do you take the bread then? That goes into the uh, final proofing system. This is where the proofing happens. This is the final proof, and all it is is a very warm, tropical environment for the bread to spend its last days in. So it's like uh, the bread's on vacation. It, it's on its last vacation. This is the good seed killer light. Almost done. Got a nice, nice brown look to it. Now why does it have to turn around? That's for even baking. If you just let it sit in one place, it would burn on the outside and be underbaked on the inside. It's perfect and evenly baked all around. So after the bread is baked, it, uh, it's, it's put on a conveyor that takes it to a the suction um, thingy that takes it all off of there, takes eight loaves of bread at a time off, puts it on a, uh, another conveyor. So you're very well known in Portland. I don't know if anyone doesn't know your story, but you're kind of a motivational speaker now. You know, I'm not even a trained speaker. I, I just go out and kind of tell my story. I love talking to the kids at-risk youth, uh, inmates like myself, you know, former inmates. I'm a former inmate. These people are in prison. I get the chance to talk to them and uh, hopefully inspire them to, you know, if I can do this, who can't? All right, so after the bread comes off the conveyor, what is this awesome contraption? This is cool. It's the, uh, this is a cooling tower. We have two of them. It goes up one side. This just keeps going and going and spiraling up until it hits the top, it takes an hour. And then um, it comes across here and comes down the other side, it takes another hour. By that time, it's all cool. So and two it, hours to cool the bread yeah. and then it's ready to be it's sliced? ready to rock. Okay, now this is, the, uh, once again, Dave's Killer Bread, 21 grain, 21 slices. Um, with this particular bread, we have 21 slices. 
uh, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, we'll make sure everything's even. Drop that in there. And well, yeah, once it's set up, it's all good, but we all we also gotta make sure for, you know, we, we check for check the insides, make sure there's no holes in the bread, make sure everything is mixed, mixed correctly. After it's set up, it's a smooth ride. It's a smooth ride after that. All the way to the stove. It's baked, it's cooled down, it's sliced, it's bagged. Yep. All right, and now what, what's going on here with this? Well, he's just put 15 loaves. He's putting 15 loaves in a, um, an each tray. And this, as soon as he's got these done, we'll fill our orders with them, uh, wherever these are going. And they'll get on a truck and head out to the store. You want to try that? Yeah. Hey, hey, let her try it for a second. Let her try doing that for a second. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, three, two, try that. All right. All right, where's the next one? I'm gonna get a job. Yeah. I'm gonna get a job. Yeah. You can actually, you might be able to get a job here. Do it. Yeah. There you go. Want to see some more? Do it. Okay, so we're gonna end up having five in each row. So we'll do that. Bye, Ready bread. Bye, bread. Bye. Bye. Do you play yeah. guitar? Yeah. How uh, often do you do that? Uh, lately, not that much. Can you sing? Uh, if Wherever. I had my guitar, I'd have to have my guitar and kind of like, you know what I mean? I feel kind of weird just singing out there. I, Dave, I made up a song. You did? Yeah. Were it, were it Dave's, he makes bread. Wow, that's he good. gets up out of bed every day. <laughs> Is oh, that nice. good? Nice, that's yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. Now Are you going to put that on? Okay, I so need you... a patty. Oh, yes. I need my mayo, crisp lettuce and pickles and a thin sliced tomato. But someday, someday, I won't be a lonely blue bun no more. That's it. Woo, I love it! You make bread, buns, and then what's this long loaf of bread? Um, that is called a peace bomb. And, peace bomb. and that's, yeah, that was designed uh, to be, you know, just a, a dinner bread that you just kind of break up and break bread with your friends. And, um, family and it, it just I mean it tastes great a lot a lot of seeds it's made with sprouted wheat yeah but, right. it's, but it's peaceful you know yeah it's that's good where the name comes from. it is that's right and if you drop peace on the world you drop bombs of peace on the world that's a good thing right that is a good thing it is a good thing can we drop these on people you can okay uh, you can hit people over, over the head with it. here hit, hit lad with one I'm over here I'm gonna hit Come you that's not hard enough all right <laughs> did it work all right. Dave, I had so much fun here today. I don't even want to leave. You know, I had a really great time too, Kelsey, but uh, I do have to get to work. Okay, but before I leave, can I braid your hair? Uh, you know, can you French braid? Yeah. <laughs>